Bardolf. That is bright wool. Beautiful piece, my boy. Reminds me of your mother. First time she visited the hall, she played that very piece. And I thought her the most beautiful and talented girl in the world. You did love mother once, then? Have I? Of course I loved her. This seems strange. All I can remember are your furious arguments. And the way she grew more and more afraid of you. Hold your tongue. No. I want to know what it was she feared. I want to know what it is you've been hiding from me all my life. Oh, you're getting agitated, boy. You know that always brings on an attack. Calm yourself. We'll pretend this conversation never took place. Pretend? God in heaven, that's all we ever do is pretend. You say this piece reminds you of mother. Well, I have memories too. I'll never forget her screams the night Gideon died. The one night she needed your love, and you blamed her, and you blamed her. I could hear everything from my room. You hitting her and hitting her. Pope! The most beautiful and talented lady in the world. Yes, that's what Mother was, and your cruelty killed her. Your mother was a weak little fool who couldn't face the truth. She was weak like you, boy. Gideon was strong. He would have continued the line, but she let him die. Take my son to his room, Stopes. Will he be needing his medicine, sir? Yes, and double the quantity. I'll not drink it. Then force it down his throat. The Daubeny line has been unbroken since the conquest, and it will remain unbroken. And no curse and no weakling is going to stop it. Now get out of my sight! You are a rude, Lieutenant Coverdale. Perhaps I am. But you are safe with me, Emily. I promise you that. Oh. And this must be the first time I've been safe since I came to Dobney. And if your reputation is anything to go by, I'm not safe now. Emily, you mustn't believe all they tell you. I wish you'd believe what I've told you, Stephen. I'm only a simple soldier. I can't understand tales of witchcraft and changelings. You think I let my imagination take hold of me? Well, I, think I that... didn't dream the monster. It was as real as that hideous corpse. Oh, please believe me. I know the villagers are scared to go near the hall. I put that down to superstitious nonsense. But I suppose something must have driven Lady Daubeny out of her wits. Did Aunt Eleanor go mad then? You mean you haven't realised? Realised what? The escaped lunatic. The corpse you found in the belfry. That was Lady Daubeny. Aunt Eleanor. Oh, no. But then Uncle George lied to me. Christian believes she's been dead for years, I'm sure of that. Something at Daubney Hall drove her mad. And someone in the hall killed her. Is that what it's inferred? It's possible, isn't it? All I know is she was killed by a maniac. Mercifully, you were too frightened to notice. But every drop of blood had been drained from that body. 
Don't go back to the hall tonight, Emily. I must. If I'm ever to know the truth, I must. You'll stay with me. No. Perhaps it's because I feel sorry for Christian. Yet it's more than that. It's almost as if something was compelling me. Well, then I'll come with you. No. They must not be on their guard. Come tonight, at half past midnight. I'll slip down and let you in. Poor Aunt Eleanor. All that blood. What happened to all that blood? leaving us, Emily. You'll never leave Daubeny Hall. Who are your prisoner, Uncle? We are all prisoners here, Emily. Of Stopes and his ancestors. Stopes? Stopes is a witch. It was a Stopes that cursed Bardock. But Christian depends on Stopes. He always says so. That is the exquisite irony of the Bardolf curse. That through the centuries, the Daubeny should depend upon those murderous wretches for the one substance that can bring relief from their inherited agonies. Blood, Emily. Human blood. 
Blood that gives me strength. Blood that prevents my son and I from degenerating into baying beasts. That was the knowledge that drove Christian's mother to madness. She didn't want to bear my children. She didn't understand that the Daubeny line must continue. At first we thought the boys were fit and strong, but as they approached their twelfth year, we knew. We knew. It was Eleanor that killed Gideon Emily, and she would have poisoned Christian if I hadn't committed her to the asylum. You liar! It's true, Christian. Would to God that I were lying. Why? Your mother wanted the Daubeny line to die, and the Daubeny curse to die with it. It was my duty. Nobody must ever know our secret. Hold, Emily. Your wife is dead, Uncle. She was the escape lunatic. She escaped and was murdered. Murdered for her blood. <laughs> Get away, Emily. Go now. <laughs> Satan! All is chaos. Chaos. 